I own a total of nine YouTube channels as of July 2024. So of course, I'll quickly name off the ones that already exist. JB Drag Extras and Others, which some of the videos have a tiny bit of cursing and inappropriate talk. There are no more new videos that'll be like that, but some of the existing ones have that in there. JB Drag Music, Flying Ferocious Fool, which is a completely different and alternate personality that has his own channel for fun and is my first official alt account for on my YouTube channel. And of course, there's the backup channels, JD Bragg Motocross Boss and JD Bragg Motocross Boss Extras and Others. I will eventually have to rename that to JD Bragg Extras and Others. But as of 2024, there are three new extra channels. The first one is JB Drag Day Nightcore Music. Basically on this channel, I take a song. I speed it up in CapCut. Save that. I slow it down in CapCut. Save that as well. So the slowed down version is the day core and the sped up version is the night core. And of course, the pitch is higher when I speed it up and the pitch is lower when I slow it down. Then, what I'll do is I'll upload these in sets of two. For example, I uploaded Recurse 2 Nightcore and Decor remix both at the same time. First, I pump out the Nightcore song, and then a couple seconds later, I'll pump out the Decor song. And I have a rule anymore for all channels that I run. One video per day, unless it's a very special occasion. One video per day. So, JB Drag Day Nightcore music actually breaks this exception all the time, just because I always upload them in a pair of two. But in this case, let's pretend the pair of two only counts for one video per 24 hours. Now, do not get confused with that statement. I don't upload one video per 24 hours and two videos per 24 hours on JB Drag Day Nightcore music all the time. It's just if I happen to want to upload a lot of content, there's a 24 hour cooldown that I go by usually. Wow, look at that. There's my signature over there. Good for that. The next channel I would like to talk about, I hold more dearly to myself. JB Drag Reacts. I used to do reaction content on my main YouTube channel back then before I showed my face and I would do faceless reactions. Eventually, I didn't do as many reaction videos and once I started showing my face, I even at one point was like, all right, all videos will have my face cam, but I don't really like doing that. I like all my content 99% of the time to be faceless, even though people have seen my face before. I feel better as a faceless content creator and I think that suits me a lot more. Well, I'm saying it does, in my opinion, at least. Wow, thank you, Traps, for this. I appreciate it. Thank you. We even have some gingerbread axes in here as well, boxed ones. That's awesome. These people in game, Ken Ken and Traps, want to sign my base whilst I'm recording this video, so good for them. I'll let them do it. I love that my YouTube channel has gotten more attention. It makes me feel more appreciated. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Remember that. At one point in time, and I actually forget when I said this, I said I'm only going to be putting reaction videos on my second channel but then what I would do is I wouldn't do it very often so I would do a reaction video on my main channel every once in a while I knew that it would kill my algorithm but I still wanted to do that anyway but I just realized it is really a mess on my main channel and it doesn't really fit on my second channel because my second channel is mostly just for compilations and crap posts and stuff like that so that's why I decided to open my brand new and own reaction channel all reaction videos will be without the face cam because that's how I like doing reaction videos. I know there's people who are like, well, a reaction video is not that good without the face cam. I beg to differ. A reaction video could still be good even without a face cam. Unlike most of my secondary channels, I actually do care about that channel getting to a thousand subscribers. You may have heard that I wanted to get to a thousand subscribers. Why? Because it gets me a step closer to monetization. And you know what? I want to do reaction content and make a little bit of money off of it. So that's why I'm trying to push for a thousand subs. I actually do care about that channel more than then my second channel, Extras and Others, my third channel, Music, my fifth channel, Day Nightcore Music, and let's hope that Hugo's not watching this, but even Flying Ferocious Fool. Subscribe to my channel, JB Drag Motocross Boss, for millions of IQ. Also join my Discord server, JB's Palace. Now, the third new channel I have is called JB Drag Motocross Boss 2. It's basically for Minecraft content. Now, I used to upload Minecraft content on my main channel. The same for reaction content. I unlisted all Minecraft and reaction content, basically, from my main channel. I unlisted it so that it would not get recommended anymore. I want this main channel to be mostly 99% Roblox stuff so that it can get recommended to as many people as possible and so that the algorithm's not messed up and so that I can overall grow, grow, grow more. I do have a strong 
feeling that my algorithm did get messed up over the years. But now because of this happening, I have a feeling that I have a much higher chance of my algorithm being better. I do have the urge to do Minecraft content, not very often. I also have the urge to do Minecraft live streams, which I will also stream Minecraft on my alternate channel, JB Drag Motocross Boss 2. And same goes for the reaction channel. If I ever want to do some streams where I react to content, then I will stream on JB Drag Reacts. Since all the Minecraft and reaction videos that I did in my main channel are unlisted, yes, you still can watch them by going to the playlists that they're located in, but they're not going to get randomly pushed out and recommended to anybody ever again. Now, I will give a brief summary of the channels that have already existed. Let's start with the backup channels that aren't used. JD Bragg Motocross Boss and JD Bragg Motocross Boss Extras and Others. It's self-explanatory. Backup channels. They both have one video each on them. It's the same video. It was uploaded in March of 2022. It's basically a simple Google Slides video explaining on how the channels work. And it says this goes for both JD Bragg Motocross Boss and JD Bragg Motocross Boss Extras and Others. JB Drag Extras and Others. The normal second channel is mostly for compilations but sometimes for just random videos like if I want to post an unedited video that corresponds to a main channel video if I want to upload an FNF video just anything really random mostly consisting on crap posting and compilations and stuff like that as well as just extra content that needs to be posted like unedited footage that needs to exist to help prove that a normal video on my main channel is real JB Drag Music is a channel used for if I ever upload an original original song or what it's probably going to only be used for at least for a while is I will slap a non-copyright song on I will make a custom thumbnail picture for it and what will happen is the entire video will just be that one frame and it'll have the non-copyright song play in the background the frame will have stuff in the background that will kind of correspond to what that song reminds me of whenever it plays in any of my live streams or any of my videos and stuff like that for example, Teasing the King. In that music video, whatever you call it, but not an actual music video, you get the point. In the picture, it has the thumbnail from one of my challenge videos. The song Teasing the King is usually played whenever the challenge starts for whenever I do a challenge video on my channel. Flying Ferocious Fool is basically a channel where there could be Minecraft content, Roblox content. I don't really care about the algorithm on that channel. Even reaction content is on there. There's not that many uploads and there's never really a guaranteed upload schedule on there but there's still uploads that sometimes happen it's where i have this completely different voice with this completely different oc that's based off of a random combination of free avatar items that you can have on roblox the most popular and notable thing about flying versus fool is his man face the actual man face from roblox and then of course the main channel jb drag motocross boss nowadays will be for roblox content roblox streams Sometimes maybe a couple other games on streams and maybe a couple other games on my main channel, but mostly Roblox and I will do these talking videos where I work on my base in Lumber Tycoon 2. I'll do challenge videos sometimes, more informational videos about Lumber Tycoon 2 or tutorials or just walkthroughs or playthroughs, like for example how I'm discovering how Refinery Caves 2 is, stuff like that. And that's a summary of all of my YouTube channels. Now I have a big task for everybody. I'm I'm gonna link every single one of my YouTube channels in the description, but wait a minute, you might be thinking, JB, aren't they all already linked in every single video? Yes, you are correct. They are always linked. That was a trick statement, everybody. So go into the description and click on all of my other YouTube channels and go subscribe to them. Now, I will say one thing right here. If you are never going to watch any reaction videos, don't subscribe to JB Drag Reacts. If you're never going to watch any of my Minecraft videos, don't subscribe to JB Drag Motocross Boss 2. And I'm actually being dead serious about that. But as for the rest of them, I really don't give two hoots. Go subscribe to the rest of them. And of course, subscribe to them all for millions of IQ.